What's going on guys, Ligaia Rossery here, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Ligaia. In the last episode, we destroyed a mist generator inside of Dohadi's castle, and now all the mist is gone in the in this part of the area. And as you guys probably saw, I actually saved outside of the town of Retayu. Um, I'm actually outside of Octum, I uh, teleported back to Octum so now we can, we are free to explore this town because it is an actual town now oh look there's people here he's in the shrine okay so yeah now that we are free to uh, explore this city once again um, so now that the mist is gone you will no longer be meeting any enemies here which is awesome. Uh, everything is still the same as before. So there's a pub we can go in here. This is an actual pub. Let's talk to you. Thanks to you guys. I can reopen this place. I owe it all to you. Why thank you. I really appreciate it. So pretty much once you've gotten. Uh, once you've pretty much gained access to this place. You were actually halfway done with the game. Of course, there will still be some other stuff to do, but I consider that to be all side stuff. So, yeah, in, in that cupboard, I got the uh, the speed elixir. I don't need that anymore, though. Well, I, I've actually never even needed those. So, let's go to the inn. There's supposed to be, like, a shop here that we can go to, like a weapon shop. Or some type of shop. I don't even know where I just entered. Okay, so let's talk to you. Mist has gone from the Sebicus Island now. Soon, Caristo Kingdom's Mist will be gone too. I know it. That's why I'm waiting here. Okay. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's go ahead and go back down. Into this part. Oh, look, we can now uh, see what this guy has. Some new weapons now. <laughs> uh, let's see. I can get the master armor, which I'm going to get. Don't need this ivory book, actually. Hard elixir? Nah, don't need that. Or the speed elixir. Wonder Elixir, it is really good, but there's no need for it. So, Scarlet Jewel, don't need those. Fear Boost, nope. Acural, I don't know what that does, but okay. Bloody Claw, now that is a weapon for Noah. Get that. And we are now up to par with our weapons, at least. Okay, let's go to the item shop, see what this dude has. Nothing. But we're gonna buy a few of these magic leaves. We're gonna need some of those. Need some of these phoenixes. All right. Okay. Yeah, dude. Getting items in this game, it's really expensive. It's really. I don't even know why, to be honest. Um. But we can now enter this part of the place. There will not. There will no longer be enemies here. So you are free to explore this place whenever you want. You can even go down into the uh, the underground. Basement. Thanks to you, now I can laugh from the bottom of my heart. Ha 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 ha! Yeah, see, so there we go. No enemies are no longer here. Oh, there's some people here still, or at least this sh uh, maiden shrine. And uh, the elevator that leads to Underground Octum, you can now go back. You can go back to it now if you want, but I'm not going to. 
Uh, that's if that's just if people have uh, not left a uh, underground Octum. But they should be fine now since we destroyed a uh, Zane from utter destruction. So yeah, just once you leave the shrine, just go up the stairs onto the right and then enter that red door because it'll actually let you enter a new area in the game. So just talk to this guy. The flying trains, oh, they're out of operation until the mist is gone from Crystal Kingdom. <laughs> I do have Dwarf Winds. I bought plenty of those. That's why I want to go to Crystal. We get this nice song. It actually sounds really good. I like it a lot. Here we get a new part of the area. Uh, I've never gone to this green door before, but I'm guessing this is the lounging area. It's the lounge area. Okay, let's talk to you. Thank you for what you did for us at, in Underground Octum. I just knew you would be heading to Crystal Kingdom next. That's why I was waiting here. The gondola is good and ready, but we can only take you halfway to Crystal Kingdom because of the mist there. That is fine, because we can uh, walk to our actual destination. But let's go ahead and talk to this guy here. Yes, let us go. This guy has a uh, has a Suru on his back. He just climbs on top of the gondola. <laughs> is he actually transforming? That is cool. Don't touch it. That is really nice, though. I wonder where he's at, though. <laughs> no need to be excited. Alright, the flying are ready. Now stop stalling and get on board. <laughs> okay. Now we're moving and my controller is vibrating. <laughs> that is cool how they just actually show up. And there goes a uh, Rateu in the mountain, Latona. That is so cool though. Like, when I first saw this, I thought it was actually uh, stupid that none of those lines were showing. But actually, just playing it many years later, I've realized that I've admired what they did with this. It's actually really cool. Flying train is great. We're breezing across the ocean. No, you won't be able to go across. At least not yet. Yay, Concram. I know Hari did say that your parents were in Concram, didn't he? <laughs> when I was in Byron Temple, I once heard. The Crystal Kingdom, Soul, and Conqueror were at war when the mist first covered the earth. Zapu said he believed there was some connection between that war and the mist. I think he was right, Vaughn, but that's not all. Behind everything, deep inside the mist, I sense a horrible evil. And then he just stops halfway there.
Because. Blah, 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 and blah, blah. We blah, blah. <laughs> They say the Mystic Crystal Kingdom is much stronger than than, ex than they expected. And, oh, don't worry. It's a nice slope. It's a nice downhill slope from here on. We'll just unhook the gondola. And with a little momentum, you'll coast right into Caristo. <laughs> Leave everything to us, just close the gondola door and wait. <laughs> We're counting on you. Affirmative. Okay. Going faster now. Okay, and apparently they went too fast, so. <laughs> Too bad the gondola doesn't have any brakes. And we never see them again. <laughs> It's actually playing a boss theme. This is really cool though. I like how they did that with this one. And then they crash. And they died. Well, that's the end of the game, guys. Oh. What? Oh, hey, Sarah. What are you doing here? And golly, you're still alive. Oh, come on. Get up, Vaughn. <laughs> You are in Caristo Kingdom now. That's a flo oh yeah, that is a floating castle. That is a place we have to go to uh, much later in the game. It is a stupid area to traverse to because it is one of the longest areas in the game, and it's really annoying. I hate it. It is stupid. And of course, this thing is actually it's making the uh, Crystal Kingdom being covered in mist. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. Just trying to scratch my head, and my hand hit up against the mic. He took everything from us. Blue Castle's gone. Tell me, Sarah, how are you able to travel freely through the mist? How do you escape possession by Sarah when you don't have a rossery like us? <laughs> She's got a roster egg.
to why do you want that egg? You've already got a Rossmere on your arm, you don't need the egg. Too bad I already know where she's going. Alright, so now we are in a new area. Of course, we're going to be meeting some enemies here. To finally craft doll. I thought that was an actual person. Travel kit contents. I don't have any money. Travel kit. I have five healing blooms, one door of light, and one door of wind. Nah. I've got plenty of those. I think there's treasure that we can get here as well, if I'm not mistaken. But let's try ahead. Let's go ahead and try and meet some enemies um, in this area. Okay, I've gathered. I know I'm going to go back in there. Let's go back. I still want to get some treasure. See if I can find any treasure here. Oh yeah, we're at the Carista station. Alright, so no treasure here. Uh, unless you actually search these barrels. I've never actually done that before, but I'm going to go ahead and try and search all of them. See if there is anything, because there might be something. Nothing. Dang. Alright, so now we can go ahead and leave. Alright, so that, that one tower you ended up seeing when you were in the uh, gondola, that is our actual next destination, so it's a long walk. So be prepared to fight a lot of enemies on your way there. Alright, and we get some new enemies. We get a, uh, a Moldy Worm and a Grood. They're pretty tough. So just be careful. I think Noah's able to use her Mystic Art now. If I'm not mistaken. Whoa, wow, they, that, they hit hard. They hit hard. <laughs> Okay, um, I'm grood. Hold on, I might need my list of papers. Got my paper. No, not yet. She needs to be at least level 24. So. Hold on. No, I can't do that. I forgot. You do. There. Man, look at that damage. Aw, don't do that. That's not nice. Oh. The heck did they try to do? Okay, now that is done and over with. And uh, these guys give 
pretty decent experience if you want to grind here I would suggest grinding here all right so let's go ahead and keep going oh yeah just so you know that tower that we ended up uh, just looking at that tower's name is soul tower and uh, it is so high up the tower is so high up that it is not even being covered by the mist so you can still do whatever you want there And we get some new enemies. We get a queen bee and an acid slime. Now, the slimes, like I said before, that uh, those are the best enemies you want to grind off of. Because uh, they can divide the how many, uh, into, how many in, into a lot of slimes. Um, uh, see, like this one, slime, uh, the slime is dividing. Uh, the highest that this slime has ever divided for me was up to F so so yeah they do uh, it, it helps a lot to uh, grind off of them all right the queen bee and no just do your original thing To acid slime there and then there to acid slime B. Okay. And of course they're, they're gonna do a lot of damage, so just be careful. Fourteen hundred or almost. <laughs> Okay. No, no, you see, yeah, 1100 experience points. They're, they're actually really nice to grind off to off of, so if you just want, just go ahead and grind off of them. And uh, hopefully I don't run into any enemies. Okay, good. What was that for, Noah? <laughs> And then there goes the floating castle. This track is really good. This must have been built with the power of the Suru of long ago. The flying trains, the city itself, truly a prima civilization. Oh, dude, this track is so it's, it's phenomenal. It's, a, it's so good. So now we are going inside, I guess. Okay, Noah. <laughs> There's no one here. Wow, it's huge. Gala, Vaughn, Gala, look, it's huge. This is just the, uh, no, they don't reach the upper part of the city. Amongst the barn were sent to Seoul. I hope they are still alive. They can still fend for themselves even if they don't have Saru. Alright, guys, I'm gonna end the episode here.
in the next episode, we're gonna go ahead and continue to, uh, we're gonna go ahead and look around Seoul. And it's a really nice tower, a town. And, uh, hopefully, we're just gonna do a bunch of random stuff in the next episode, but, anyways, guys, it's the guy Ross who's signing out. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And as always, stay gaming.